another maiden, but it's for chases this time, and it's the Jadami maiden chase, and it's over four miles. So these are potential Grand National horses that some of them would have been brought in, some of them would have been struggling around in the Moore's Millions. Well, let's have a look. It's Artisan Sunday up at top for David Robertson, Grand Torino, Paul Rhodes, Harry's Your Man, Stu Gray, Ironic Harold, Graham Clutterbuck, Nashville Decree, Vinnie Gerard, Pembury Clipper, James Shea, The Pill Garlic, and Tintin. Fire off for Padre Hogan, Blanche Nez, Alex Cherry, Castle Donington, Darren Thompson, Chief Roost, James Shea, Diamonds Obi Wan, Moon She, Stu Gray, and Paul Satilla for Alex Cherry. So 14 of them then in this, and away they go. Quite a few newcomers again, so some new blood for the long distance races in the Moors Millions later on in the season as they make their way towards the first of 26. Fences that they've got to take in this one. And we've already lost one there. It's Tintzin Firal that's gone. So possibly the only person pleased about that is me. Because that looks like the hardest one to get your tongue around. Uh, sorry for that, Padre Hogan. But you've still got another one in it as they get over the second. And that other one you've got is the Pill Garlic. who was a great old horse at the back end of the 70s, early 80s. And I actually had a horse called the Pill Garlic in SO6 about five seasons ago. Who didn't do too bad. So let's hope the Pill Garlic makes up for Tintzin Firal's early departure but well, it's Harry's your man at the minute who's in the lead as they get over the third and Harry's your man has gone a good six lengths clear so it'll be interesting to see what happens with this one if it opens up a big lead as they get to the fourth and they'll safely over the fourth only seen one day of racing so far since the transfer window but we did notice yet yesterday that one or two of the newcomers are Looking pretty good. They might not necessarily be winning, but they're holding their own against horses that have got some decent form. And Stu Gray definitely had a couple that ran really well yesterday without winning. It'll be interesting to see what happens if this Harry's your man gets too far in the lead. Now, I think he's called that Harry's your man because he's a Manchester United supporter and he's sticking up for Harry Maguire. Has been named after Harry Maguire, then forget everything I just said a minute ago, it won't win as they get to the sixth hand. They're all over that one, okay. Yeah, Gran Torino back in second, Ironic Harold is third, and Nashville Decree and Chief Roost, the Artisan Sundown and Pembury Clipper, and Castle Donington's after that one, and Pulsar Tiller as they get to the seventh. A mistake there, one of the James Shea horses, I think it was Chief Roost, and jumping at all well. Diamonds is just the back market at this point, but it's Harry's your man. Bowling along in front on Gran Torino second and Ironic Harold third. And Artisan Sunday and Nashville Decree as they skip over fence number eight. They've got past the stand, past the winning post, they've got two more circuits to go. So a long way to go yet. And Harry's your man. Leads by six to Grant Torino second. Ironic Harold is third. And Nashville Decree fourth and Artisan Sundown is fifth. And Castle Donington is after that one. And a little bit of a gap to the Pill Garlic, who's on the outside of the chasing pack as they get over that next one. With the diamond still just at the back. So they're quite well strung out, and Harry's your man is setting the pace. Leads by four or five lengths. See Paul Rhodes' Gran Torino in second. Nashville Decree is third, then Ironic Harold and Artisan Sundown. They get over this ditch. And all safely over the ditch. Alex Cherry's Pulsatilla is the new back marker. As they come into fence number 11. Which they're all over okay. Pulsatilla and Diamonds just struggling at the back a little bit. They're about 20 lengths off the lead. But Harry's your man. He's clear in front. Bowling along nicely with a five length lead to Gran Torino and Ironic Harold as they get over fence number 12. Safely over. They get a 13th and then all over that one as well, although Diamonds was very slow at the back. Harry's your man's lead. It's continuing to be four or five lengths as they get into this ditch. All over that one as well. Just lost the one so far. 
Tintin fire out at the beginning on the very first fence. But it's Harris your man in front. Ironic Harold second. As we get a look at them from a different angle. Harris your man continues to bowl along in front. Ironic Harold and Artisan Sundown. Brand Serena has just dropped back a little bit. Then comes Nashville Decree, Castle Donington as they take the 15th. Which they're all over safely. And the Chief Roost gave it a bit of a wallop and is now the back marker. So Harry's your man still the leader. And still by five. To Artisan Sundown in second. Ironic Harold third. Nashville Decree fourth as they get over the 16th. Castle Donington a little bit slow that time. The maroon with the white sleeves. Harry's your man. He's going nicely. Ironic Harold and Artisan Sundown share in second. Then Nashville Decree behind that one. And then Gran Torino Monchi is getting closer as well as they get over the 17th. Castle Donington, Pill Garlic, and Pemberley Clipper as they come past the winning post then. Past the big screen and they'll swing right handed now then for one final circuit of the track. And it's Harry's your man who's in the lead by four lengths. Artisan Sundown is second and Natural Decree is third. Ironic Harold is four and Gran Torino is five and Moonshi is six. And Castle Donington is seven and the Pill Garlic is eight and Pemberley Clipper is nine and then Blanche Nidge is ten. And then Pulsitala, Diamonds and finally Chief Roost as they all get over the 18th. So Harry's your man then continuing to lead by a good three or four lengths to Artisan Sundown who's second and Ironic Harold who's third. Natural Decree running a nice quiet race in fourth. Moon, she's the one who's creeping ever closer and Castle Donington now being pulled round the outside to come through with a bit of a run. The Pill Garlic has gone through onto the inside as they get over that ditch. Then after that Blanche Nez and Pemberley Clipper, Paul Sitala, Diamonds and Chief Roost but it's Harry's your man's leads down to just less than two now. As Ironic Harold comes through to try and challenge a mistake there by Artisan Sundown. Has seen that one drop back to about fifth. But it's still Harry's your man being pushed along now to keep his lead on the inside. From Ironic Harold in second. Monshi Moonshi has now moved through into third. Then comes Castle Donington who's starting to get into it in fourth. Then Artisan Sundown. Gran Torino's after that. Blanche Nez is run on as they get over that next one. And now it's Ironic Harold who landed in the lead. But he's suddenly been attacked by the second. Stu Gray runner Moonshi who's come through in the second Harry's your man now drops back in the third over the 22nd they go and another mistake there by Artisan Sundown has surely seen that one's chance gone but it's Ironic Harold in the lead from Moonshi Gran Torino is now coming through on the inside to throw out a big challenge the Pulsitalia is coming through but it's got no room as they got over that one they've got three more to take then now and Gran Torino has hit the front Gran Torino is in the lead from Moonshi and Ironic Harold Pulsitalia has now got to split up the inside then after that one comes Castle Don into the Artisan Sundown is trying to run on, so too is the Pilbarnik and Pemberley Clipper. But it's Gran Torino with three to jump in the lead. Pulsitalia has now come through into second. Then comes Moonshi, Ironic Harold, and look at this Artisan Sundown. He's got going again over the third. Last they go. Again, he didn't jump it well, though. And it's Gran Torino from Pulsitalia. Then Ironic Harold, Artisan Sundown. Moonshi's after that. The pill garlic is running on as they come down towards the second last fence. Then now, and it's Gran Torino and Pulsitalia. Pulsitalia takes it up. But Ironic Harold have jumped them both. Then comes Moonshi, Artisan and Sundown, Castle Donington still there, the Pill Garlic is still trying to get into it as well, so too is Pemberley Clipper, it's wide open this one with one to jump, and it's Ironic Harold who's in the lead from Castle Donington in second, then on the outside Artisan Sundown, Gran Torino is after that, then comes Moonshi and the Pill Garlic as they race towards this final fence then, over they go, Castle Donington the better jump, lands in the lead, it's Castle Donington for Darren Thompson, Castle Donington's in front and Castle Donington's going to win it, Castle Donington wins it, Ironic Harold second, Artisan Sundown third, Moonshi for then the pill garlic was after that one. Harry's your man pulled up in the end, so too did Chief Roost. And the thrilling four mile maiden there. And the experience of Castle Donington just proving to be the deciding factor. Artisan Sunday with a better round of jumping would surely have won. Made a lot of mistakes towards the business end of the race but Castle Donington takes it for Darren Thompson Ironic Harold for Graham Clutterbuck was second Artisan Sundown for David Robertson third Moonshi for Stu Gray fourth and the Pill Garlic for Badrag Hogan was fifth so what's that that's three of the first five 
newcomers and the other two rated in the 120s. Cast one to rate it one two nine. So some of those newcomers are going to be pretty good by the looks of things. <laughs> 